Hi everybody, this is Eugene O'Loughlin and welcome to my series of short how-to videos. In this video, we're going to learn how to create a data frame using a function in R. So many times in, when we were working in R, we use functions, and we use functions for loads and loads of things. We use functions to print uh, information out, we use functions to calculate statistics, we use functions to draw diagrams, and functions give us a, a lot of pre-written code, written usually by other people, uh, available in libraries and packages that we use all the time in R. But there will be times when you'll need to write your own function, uh, perhaps to do something that an existing function can't quite do, or you're looking to create a new function yourself that you'd like to make available to others. So most of the time we use a function to reuse code. It's a golden rule in programming, do not repeat yourself. So uh, therefore, if we can have one piece of code that can be used several times, that's better than having several pieces of code being used uh, each time. So in this video here, we're going to create a function that allows us to uh, create a data frame. Now, here's one I prepared earlier in the console. In the console area, we can see we have a function uh, that calculates some basic statistics for a variable. In our case here, I'm using the displacement variable from the MT cars data set in built into R. So you can see I've got five rows in my data frame and one column. The column is called basic statistics. The uh, rows are, are, are calculating these five basic statistics. I could use others or mix them up, but I'm just using these five to illustrate how the function works. And here we can see we've calculated out the, uh, the mean, median, variance, minimum value and maximum value in the MT cars displacement data set. So we're going to uh, work on, in stages to build this data frame here. It's a very da basic data frame, but it's enough to give you the basics on how to do this task. Now, uh, on my tab up here in our studio, I have some pseudocode that outlines the six steps that we're going to take to create the data frame. Uh, this pseudocode, as well as all R scripts and sample data files used in this series of videos, are available in my GitHub. You'll find a link to that in the information area beneath the video on the YouTube page. So my first task outlined here in line three is I'm going to use the function, uh, open and close brackets, I'm going to use that to set up a new function called basic stats. So that's what this function is going to be, and I want to be able to reuse this function. Once my function, which, will, which is blank when I set it up, is created, uh, I'm going to first of all create some titles for my row names. So you can see in this case here below, my row names are mean, median, variance, minimum, and maximum. Then I'm going to use the data frame function to create a data frame with five rows. So you can see I've got five rows in my data frame here. Uh, so I'm going to need to actually set that up. Then I'm going to use the names function um, to give my column a name, which you can see is basic statistics. Uh, then we're going to actually calculate the statistics, the five statistics that you see here, and assign these to the new data frame. We'll do that all in one line of code. And then finally, we want to be able to display the data frame once it's completed. So I want to be able to use this function to calculate these five basic statistics for any single variable that I send to it. So back over to my code, and let's first of all take a quick look at the first six lines using the head function of the MT cars data set. You can see that there are many, many variables in here, and we're going to concentrate first of all on the DISP variable, that's the displacement variable. So let's start off by creating the function. Now I said I call my function basic stats, use the assignment operator, and then the function command open and close brackets, and after that then I'm going to put in my curly braces and press enter. And you can see that R has set me up with a blank line, line 7 in my case here, inside the uh, curly braces. So it's in these lines, this area here, that I want to put the code that my function is going to use. Now back up to the function command, and in the uh, open and close um, brackets here after the fun word function, we need to have a variable name, a temporary variable name, TEMP I'm going to call this. And uh, that allows me then to receive the variable that I'm going to send to it. So in my case here, I'm going to send it the MT cars displacement variable. So, and that then, when it comes into the function, is stored in the temp variable. So after this, my first line of code, if I go back to the uh, pseudocode, we have completed step one, that's the uh, use the function to create the new function. And now I want, second step is I want to create titles for row names. So now let's go and do that. And I'm going to call, just call this titles, 
could use any names here, but I'm using words here to make this uh, readable. So titles, and then use the combine function, and then in curly brackets, or in, in open brackets, and um, in inverted commas, I'm going to put in the names of the um, titles, or the, these are going to be the row names in my data frame. So mean is the first one, comma. Next one, inverted commas, median, comma. The third variable, uh, the third statistic is the variance, comma. The fourth one uh, was the minimum. I'm just going to use min here. And the last one was max. Okay, so these are my variable names. I don't need a comma at the end of this line or anything like that. So a quick check here, I'm using the combine operator, the combine function here, C, to add these five names. So if you can see, if I scroll back to my uh, completed data frame previously, we can see these are the five names that are going to appear here. Next, after that, so let's go back to my pseudocode. The next line is I want to use, I want to actually create a skeleton, a blank data frame. And we do that using the data.frame function. So I'll give my, my, my new data frame a, a name. So I'm just going to call it new data frame assignment operator. And the data dot frame function is going to be used here. Now, we can see in the, the data frame below that I've got uh, five rows in this. So I need to set out what this is. So I'm going to use a series here of five. So one to five comma, that will create five rows. So whatever rows, number of rows you need, uh, you, you can, if you need 10 rows, this will be one colon 10 and so on. And we're going to give the uh, row names, use the row names parameter, is equal to, in our case here on the previous line, we created them and store them in titles. Okay, so we don't need inverted commas in this line, so just be careful with that. So row.names equals titles, which we have created on the previous line. Now I want to uh, give my column name, so you can see in, my, in the one I prepared earlier that the column name is basic statistics. So I'm going to use the names function here. Names, open and close bracket, and in the open and close bracket, I'm going to put in the title of my data frame, which is, as we can see in the previous line, new data frame. Now after that, I need to open and, clo and close uh, square brackets, and I've only got one column, so I'm going to put in one here, and then assign that, using inverted commas, the name of your column. In my case here, it's called basic statistics. Okay, so we can see that that's what's going to appear in the column name. Again, no comma necessary here, so move on to the next line. So the next job that we wanted to do after creating the column name was to actually do the statistics calculation using the functions that do that for me and assign these to the new data frame. So this is the most complicated line in this, um, in this particular function. So my new data frame, open and close square brackets, and we have a one in that because we've just got one column in it, and assign it then a series of, using the combine operator, a series of um, fun existing functions to calculate the statistics. So in order to calculate the mean, we use the mean function. And in here, we're going to, the, 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 the variable that we're going to calculate the mean of is the one that's in the function command. So the uh, variable that's passed into the function is stored in temp. So I want to be able to com com calculate the mean of temp here, comma, the median, open and close brackets of temp is next. And another comma, var is the name of the function that will calculate variance. And again, this is going to be temp, comma. Um, min is the function that calculates the minimum. And finally, max is the function that calculates the maximum of the temp variable. So you can see what we're doing here. We're in our new data frame, which has one column, we are actually doing, using this particular piece of code here, using the combine function, we are combining these five separate functions that are going to calculate all of these basic statistics for me. So I'm going to go to the end of that line, and then the last thing in the pseudocode to do is I just want to display the data frame when it is created, okay? So, and I just do that by just putting down the name of the data frame. Okay, so at this stage, you should go back over your code and look for syntax errors or anything like that. But I'm now ready to run this function. So I'm going to run this function and test it for errors. So um, bring the console back and click on run. 
I've got no errors. I can also see in the global environment that a function has been created called basic stats. So that's uh, now I know that my function works and it's now time to test my function. So what I'm going to do with it is I'm going to uh, use the name basic stats. That's what my function is called and pass it the empty cars dollar sign DISP. I'm going to pass it to that variable there and click on run. And we can see we've got not only have we our data frame created uh, with our column basic statistics and our five rows of each of the stats, uh, we've also got the calculations worked out by the existing functions. Now we saw in the data set that there are other uh, variables in here as well. So let's see, does our uh, basic stats function work for MPG? So that's the first column in our data set. So I'm going to repeat this command. MT cars dollar sign and MPG variable. I'm going to pick that up there, run this, and we can see we get another data frame. Just We've got two data frames created now with uh, the different, you can see the differences in the calculations. So how about this works for MT cars, but how does it work for other, um, does it work for other data sets as well? So I'm going to try a different data set. So basic stats, let's try the plant growth one, plant growth. And in the plant growth, there's a variable called weight. And now run this command here. And we can see we are getting a data set, a data frame for the plant growth weight um, variable as well. So this function can be used for any data set. So what I recommend you do is try this function out on other variables in these data sets, or try it out on your own data sets and see does it work. And you can also add in uh, on line 10 here in my, in my code here, you can add in other things as well. You can add in other statistics such as kurtosis or um, um, any, any, any other statistic that has a function available to do it. Or you could, for example, also add in a function to plot a histogram of temp or plot a box plot of temp. And experiment with these to do several different things uh, in your, the function that you want to create and don't forget to test it as you go along. So that's how you create a, a data frame using a function in R. I hope you found this video useful. Thank you for your attention.